Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy Plays Pyre. Off to the next episode. Can't wait to find out what's going to happen next. Let's load the campaign up. Don't tell us far beneath the Commonwealth. Yeah, we know that. We do know that already. Last episode was really fun because Diesel just ended up being an amazing addition to the roster. Let's go into the black brand really quick, but I think I have seen everything that's in here last time. Yeah, looks good. Let's get going then. Continue the story. The path to freedom. Oh, there. Come down. You find Hedwin and Jodariel accessing this current situation with the Ministrel. Are you most certain? I, madam. I take no claim the journey shall be pleasant, but it is necessary. I gotta say, the low minstrel isn't even all that fitting, considering how are we basically a bunch of funny guys. Hadwin motions to me as they continue talking. Seems like we'll have some work to do once we arrive in flagging hands. Let's going, soon as you're ready. Sooner we get there, the sooner we can leave. So, I was actually being told that if this is blinking, there is something new to be read, so I will look out for that. A gloom-filled, desolate region of the downside, beyond which lies the sea. A fetid sprawl of noisome, festering, unpleasant adjectives. Basically a disgusting swamp pit. Okay, cool. Let's go to that swamp pit. Can't wait. There is the destination. You have not yet been to this region of the downside. The Lone Ministrel knows a relatively safe route down to the Flagging Hands region. Let's go then. Let's trust that Minstrel, hope that he knows what he's doing. Oh, that's actually an entirely new part of the map. That's cool. That doesn't even look too bad. Then again, the colorful nature of the game makes everything look nice. Alright, let's check in here really quick really nobody wants to talk here that's actually kind of disheartening let's get going then consider how to proceed an impressive era this flagging hands region has about it there has to be a part forward yeah hopefully the flagging hands region proves as dismal as jadari indicated the air is thick and foul how far to the pit of Milith? That is bad, right? Milith? According to the stars, the next ride shall soon commence here. A fetid den in which the Mitch Milith sealed the physical form of Islag Astralborn. Okay. All the way across the marshlands on the coast. It sounds pleasant. Sounds like a pleasant trip through a swamp. Rita, would you join me in the wagon for a moment? We have matters to discuss. I was just in there. Let's... Let them exchange a look. Yeah, I will. Thank you. I will go see what he wants. I can do that. That... Thank you for your time, Rita. I have something for you on behalf of my client. Before you is an artifact called the Beyonder Crystal. An ancient artifact connected to the rites. Should the reader manage in your eyes, present the crystal only to them. Message to the lone minstrel. I would like to learn more of this client of yours. You observe a shimmering crystal of some sort beside the book of rites. As you have surmised, the triumvirates you are to confront during the rites shall stop at nothing to prevail against you. They have been prepared for this for quite some time. I mean, none of them has yet used a weapon against my team. I think that is true. The Beyonder Crystal may help ensure that you are well prepared in turn. It is a resource now at your disposal to be used at your discretion. Gaze upon it and you shall see what I mean. Henceforth you may use the Beyonder Crystal. It is calling me. That bodes well, I suppose. A shimmering crystal. It seeks rookie. You look upon the shimmering surface of the beyond a crystal. 
Some of your senses fail, though you retain a hold over your consciousness. Oh, hi. An apparition appears before you, clad in the raiments of the rites, but incorporeal. I sense that you are not a total idiot. Why, thank you. She reaches for the clasps on her mask. So the Nightwings have returned. Well, first of all, introduce yourself. But where are my manners? You must be their loyally reader. Please call me Sandra. Well, mighty kind to meet you, Sandra. Went briefly before, when you first beheld the book, when you were stuck inside of it. I was among the phantoms your companions banished there, no doubt stroking their egos. Okay, that's neat, I suppose. Oh, one of those guys. Okay, I see. It was the tutorial fight. You listen well enough to that damned voice. Now I suggest you listen well to me. Described within the book, it calls to you during the rites and reminds you of your exile. I am wondering if that is going to come back in some way. I am bound and servitor to you, along with any idiots whose freedoms happen to be intertwined with yours. I know the rights better than anyone. I soon can whip you into shape if you but take advantage of my services. Why are your eyes always closed, Sandra? Would you mind explaining that to me? First, I offer scribe trials to those friends of yours. Sandra's series of special challenges, custom tailored for each of your fellow exiles. That's neat. If they pass, it shall be worth their while and yours. Secondly, my Beyonders and I avail ourselves for practice rites, should you be so inclined. A spectral triumvirate banished for eternity and trapped within the rites. And yeah, it's probably no strings training competitions between your fellow exiles and Xandra's Beyonders. That's neat. Or you could always come and chat and briefly free me from an eternity of boredom. Hmm. You know what, you're a bit too sassy for my taste, so I will have to think about that very hard. You have invoked Xandra from the Beyond a Crystal, what do you wish to do? Yeah, let's request one of these scribe thrills here. Indeed, it looks as though one of those failures of yours is ready for a lesson in pain. Is that gonna be Rookie? Who shall brave one of Xandra's scribe trials? Choose among the worthy. I make a one guess and say that I can only pick him right now. Yeah. I kinda figured that would be the case. You ask Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Rookie. She is a wraith expelled for eternity within the Beyond a Crystal and bound to serve the rites. What? The love mount of Kerr? Well, I suppose that he is ready technically. Though I have a litany of reservations about him. But let us bring him forth. Soon, Rookie appears in heat of the summons. Uh, chum, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, you have no idea what's going to happen to you, have you? Curs such as Rookie Greentail are exceptionally quick and nimble in the rights, though tend to deal less damage to the pyre. I noticed that. Oh, I'm going to one of you, aren't you? Alright, what's the big idea, huh? Is some kind of trick you're playing, chum? Well, maybe it kind of is. The apparition Sandra then appears and unfastens her mask. Shut your snout and listen, Welker. You answer to me here. Oh, she's bossing around. What? Your mouth runs quicker than those stubby little paws. You have much to learn if you have any intent to prevail in the rites. Let us see how you fare without the benefit of your trusted comrades. Safe for your lovely reader. Uh, I guess it's you and me then, huh, chum? Wherever you are. I'm here with you, don't worry. Oh, that's... That's... Scary. That's a start. Oh! Oh my god! Why couldn't I use fire my aura? Also, oh, that was a huge of damage there. Ah, those are walls! I just noticed that. There you go. Ah, damn. 
How to jump again with W? It's bad, but I will come back very so very shortly. Damn. These guys are not kidding around with this 1v3, man. No, again. And I miss. I'm about to lose here. This is going to be my first loss. I can already say. I can already tell. Okay. No, 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 no. I have to go back in here. This is doing it. That's better. One more time. From me with love. Good. Uh, I can... Oh, that's bad. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. And... I got it. Ooh, okay, he's out for a while. He's out for a while longer. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, damn. Fire. Fire. Nice. Fire. Ooh, he was close to getting me there. Fire. This is easily the hardest I have had thus far. By far. Ah, son of a gun. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Still around here. Nice. Okay, good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dropped it. I didn't even know it was a thing. But I got it. I didn't even know I could drop the ball like that. Ooh. Well done, rookie. Well done. That's how we do it, right, Chum? That's how we do it, indeed. It is. And you acknowledge, likewise, that you did not do it on your own. Despite having to face my demon's friends all by yourself. You passed my test, Kerr. Congratulations are in order. Both you and to your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Okay, so what do I get for this? That was rough, man. That was actually very thrilling. Ooh wee Alright, what's it gonna be? That Sandra kind of gives me the shakes. Know what I mean, Sean? I can see what you mean. Hey, what's that you got? You received Yomuas Fang. Uh, talisman, only for Rookie apparently. After Castus R lingers longer than usual. I mean, okay. I accept that. Let's try it out. Let's apply it to him. There he is. I actually don't have an artifact for him, so that's probably pretty good. Hmm. Sure. Let's hope that it will come in useful later down the road. Let's go back then. Actually, actually no, let's let me go back in here. There's probably more I can do with this crystal, right? Why hello my lovely reader. What might I do for you? Can do a scribe trial, I can do practice rites. Ask what is on her mind. Sunrise bound to the beyond a crystal. She may appreciate having someone to talk to. Okay, sure, let's talk to the girl. I do appreciate the effort to make small talk with me, reader. Anything to break from the monotony of staring at the void within this place. Not that I could see it if I tried. She laughs at this, or maybe at herself. Okay, so she really is blind. That's why she is having her eyes closed all the time. Certainly, I could make talk with my fellow Beyonders, trapped here as they are with me. You might expect that we all would keep each other company. There's just one problem there, however. We're all sick of one another. I mean, God knows how, well, how long you have been stuck in that crystal. I can see that happening. She loves again. Perhaps not at a joke, but instead at her predicament. <laughs> She's taking it with humor. I do exaggerate to some extent. But there is a certain truth in this. We've been stuck together long enough that we have grown more distant rather than more close. But I had best not wear out my welcome with the likes of you, as I have long since done with all the others here. So, carry on for now, and if those fools with whom you travel learn something, come bring them forth to me, and I shall see to it they learn some more. 
Okay, nothing more to do here. I kind of feel like doing a practice, right? But before I do, I want to see if I can do something about my controls in here. Actually, yes, I can change all of them around. Um, because right now, this is how I play. I'm thinking about actually changing around my settings. But I think I would actually have to use one of these practice runs to play around with that. Just so that I can get a solid idea on how to do it. Ah, oh, well, let's leave it at Let's leave it like it is for the moment. And we go back. Bitter farewell. Come with me again sometime. I will consider it, girl. I will consider it as long as you make it worth my while. Let's continue the journey then. You find everyone is feeling rather miserable. You sense just being in flagged hands eats away at one spirit. Only the MT so seems unaffected, which doesn't surprise me because he's amazing. Oh my god, they all just lost one hope, huh? Sure, let's go suffer alongside them. A moment, reader. There are several courses we may take through flagging hands. If you choose to prolong your stay, it may be worth your while. I don't really want to if all my companions lose hope here. However, your companion spirits shall likely suffer more. Let's keep going then, I suppose. Uh, fellow field, the south route through flagging hand crosses deceased and wilted plains. That sounds well. He says I can improve a talisman if I take a job here. The middle route through flagging hands cuts straight to the pit of Millith. So just taking this faster route will reduce my companion's loss of hope. I am pretty much all for that actually. And the north route through flagging hands crosses a mass grave. And he says I can get a valuable item if I take a job here. Uh, let's take the job in cold mode. Kind of feel bad because I'm basically just disregarding everything Hedwin says all the time. And you know what? Maybe this is PTSD because he has Thanatos' voice from Hades. The north route through flagging hands is dismal beyond reckoning. There is little talk among your group, yet you sense despair encroaching. Only Tiso seems unaffected. Oh, they lose hope. Let's keep suffering. Later you accompany the lone minstrel in pursuit of his task here. Speak not directly to the living shade and be true to your heart when responding to its inquiries. And make no attempt to look in the eye. The lone minstrel offers these and other words of advice as you approach the bully mounds of cold mode. The north route through flagging hands crosses a mass grave. Even a throw burning failed to cleanse a certain haunted area. That's probably not good. Where many exiles of the downside see their final days, huh? Hello, Shade. A glimmer of a shade appears before you as you stand surrounded by the dead. You barely see it and it does not speak, but you feel its thoughts piercing your heart and mind. According to the shape, the book that you possess may lay some of the fallen here to rest. The shape leaves you to your work. You turn through the book, locating passages concerning freedom and the spirit. You, s you recite such words as seem best fit to each of the fallen you see. It is training work, I can see that. The shape resurfaces after a while. It leads you to a hollowed stump, then fades away. Nox room, huh? This can be sold at the slug market. I mean, it's 50 coins, right? So, nothing to complain about there. Let's keep going then. And hopefully this is where the rides will take place now. By the time we reach the pile of Millith, everyone besides the MT so seems to be feeling even worse than before. You sense their desire to leave this place as soon as possible. Before we do, they lose hope, right? Yeah, I figured. Alright. Oh, Ron is here again as well. And I revealed a new page. You wanna talk? You find Rookie rummaging in the corner of the black wagon. Hey chum, know what? It's good having somebody else around besides those two. I know, right? I'm pretty pleasant. So come to think of it, there's something I wanted to get your take on. And you have to promise to tell me honestly. Would you say... What I mean is, um, he hesitates, trying to find the words. 
Ah, look, what I'm trying to say is, um... You said something serious is troubling him. He moves in very close, making sure no one else is in earshot. He's making this very, very thrilling, isn't he? It is about my mustache. <laughs> I've been getting some conflicting reports about it. What do you say, my mustache? That it makes me look a bit, you know, unscrupulous. It is a very villainous mustache, but I'll be damned you are rocking that mustache. So it looks perfectly fine. You know what? Yeah, you keep that mustache. I love it. You suggest that Rookie's mustache looks perfectly fine. He grins right at you. Never change, Rookie. Never change. Couldn't agree more, chum. I knew straight away that you're a real judge of character. Anyway, gotta check the wheels again for my see you around. He bounces off out of the wagon. And he gains some hope back. That's neat. Okay, so the Book of Rites, an ancient manuscript. We have a new patron here, right? Let's inspect. It was not long before the Empire began to crumble. With Malij gone, his own country quickly turned upon itself. I must admit that this collapse had... My god, my... I got a hiccup there. I must admit that this collapse had started long before the Emperor's disappearance. His decision to give chase after a myth, but hastened the inevitable. All the while, the rope Corps stood by awaiting such a time as he could rule in my liege stead. He would be our people's savior. His first charge was to organize a search for the missing Solium Myr. Warriors, Pathfinders, and Scholars heard the call and prepared to seek out for him. That's neat. That's cool. That's close. Anything in here? A visit from your favorite reader, indeed. And I can actually ask him again what's on our mind. Let's do it. Are you sloshing all the way across the flagging hands right now? That's what I do. A hideous place, or so I understand, for I can neither see it nor experience its wondrous aroma as you surely can. Although perhaps you are accustomed to it by now. I mean, maybe. Me and Teaser are the only ones who haven't lost a single bit of hope in here, so there's that. The Nightwings of the past must like the place, of that I can assure you. We share a common misery. Now, please leave me to mine, unless there is service you require me to rent at this time. First of all, girl, that was a very nice rhyme. Second of all, you do you. You know where to find me. That I do. Alright, let's see what Ron has in store for me. Oh, hey, you guys. You know, this place, a lot of folks, but not a lot of customers. Know what I mean? So have a look around. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more things in store. More hope, more presents. I'm actually interested in the present one. Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, I've had those two, I think. Not really too fond of these two. This one... It's decent, but it's way too expensive in my book. More hope. I'm kind of interested in buying all of these. At this rate, the rank of a talisman number two. Okay, first of all, let's sell this off. Proceed. And I kind of feel like... Buying this one for starters. Yes. Hope or presence? What's going to be better? I think I take the presence one. Proceed. And you know what? I will improve it. Please, there was all mine and that's you guys. Thank you, thank you for Artuka. And I just noticed that you are actually holding a slug in your hands. Okay, let's prepare our guys for the next ride. I don't think I will use Hadrin. I mean, I feel pretty bad about just leaving on the sidelines all the time. But there's basically no reason to not take Tizo. But I will actually take this away. Because apparently this doesn't even work for him. So you get the present stone. He actually has quite a bit of present, so this should be good for him. He's actually very close to her now. And I have used her quite a bit the last few times. She has lost a bit of hope as well. She has lost all hope. Just look at that. There is no hope left in this girl at all. Rank melancholy. Okay, sure. Maybe, maybe it'll actually... Oh, he's full of hope, isn't he? 
And I really want to try out this new Fang, so I'm definitely going to use these two. I have used Bay quite a bit, so I think... The thing is, I really like her. I really do like her, but I don't think she's the play. You know what, Hedwin? You get your chance. You get your chance. Alright, let's go. Let's take the right. Comments the right. If that one trial that Sandra put me through is any kind of indication, this is going to be rough. As you make your preparations for the coming ride, you one of the stars above will even be visible through the dense fog hanging over the pit of middle. Then... Oh, hi, Tizo. Ra na 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 na. Tizo seems to be very concerned by something in the vicinity. The little imp disappears in a hurry. Oh, is Tizo alright? He was so frightened. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone was frightened or reverent of him. I have a hard time believing that he's actually afraid now. He was not frightened. He was issuing a warning. Thank you. Thank you. That's image control right there. Silence. Everyone take cover. Jodariel makes quick note of several hiding places among the nearby cracks and water tusks. You wait, something about the place dampens your senses. All you feel is creeping dread. Oh my god, what are you? Then from the shadows, a writhing shape slides forward, its hulking form draped in raiments. The shape stops, slowly its head turns from one of you to the next, each in turn. Rise of ye to hide yourselves from us, little night wings. Your trespass on the resting place of the astral born. We shall see ye when the stars muster the courage to illuminate this place. So I figure that this is some kind of snake man. The creature vanishes into the dark. After a time, your uh, companions reconvene. That was a bog crone. Serpentine creatures native to the Commonwealth Southern Box, wildly feared. Not by Tizo, they are not. Indeed, that was Witch Utmilt of the Witch Drone. An ancient witch with an unhealthy obsession of Yoslach, the astral born monstrosity. First of all, that was a girl. Okay, cool. A triumvirate of bog dwellers compelled by sinister forces rather than by freedom. Uh-huh. Tizo makes clear he has no love for Utmilt. Although the rights dictate she cannot harm you bodily, with her, best not to take unnecessary chances. We'll take what chance we can get in all of this. Everyone, it's time. Time it is indeed. There are the stars, no fog clouding my view. Okay, your fellow exiles gain enlightenment after each ride. Yeah, yeah. A lightning basically experience point in here. Yes, I did. Meleeth, okay. They did not need to show up, they could have just left. In that case, I should make an honest to god effort to not losing. How nice of you, how swell. The crone Utmilt sees your companions gathered by the pyre. A little flame has that shall never warm ye here, much less survive the night. Hear us, seal slach. Disturbed in mist and balance, even in death the astral born yet feeds upon our world, unsated by its own. The scribe Lu Glorian. Make the night drinks suffer. Rookie trots forward from your ranks. Listen here, you old back. You don't scare any of us one bit. You are your buddy, you slug. Yeah, you tell him, boy. Now we're doing this or what? The question hangs in the air for longer than is comfortable. It does seem to have drawn up Mill's attention, however. Rookie begins to squirm a bit. Then Utmils moves her slender finger to her mask. Oh yeah, I'm actually interested in seeing how she looks. 
Oh my god! What a beauty! Foolish. I slash shall grow. He slash shall grow. And he shall grow. Okay, cool. He shall consume ye. Ere your little flame has died. That we shall ensure. Little Mill slides off towards her followers. Ricky remains motionless for a time. Uh, whoops, yeah, that was spooky scary indeed. But she had a very, very weird aura. I saw that. What's up with that? Can I see what's up with that? Cannot see what's up with that. She doesn't seem to have any special abilities. Why is her aura looking like this? A crone? A savage? And they actually have abilities. Titan of Reflex. Brave Charge Up is eliminated. Okay. And they both have that. Okay, so I think there's some kind of... Racial, probably. Blast Aura launches forward across great distances. And she slithers much faster, but with less control. Okay, so she's going to be... I mean, her quickness isn't even all that high, but this makes it sound like she's going to be very high for that. That's good to know, I suppose. Alright, Hedwin. Going to choose you. But I want Rookie at the main spot here. Hedwin. And, of course, best boy, Tizo. Scrahi. Tizo is ready to take on the withdrawn alongside Rookie and Hedwin. No matter where you go, Heislach shall find ye and devour ye. Yeah, he will find that I am very hard to stomach. I really like the map. I feel like I'm going to have a bad time in here. Okay, that's... Oh, double whammy. Damn, he got me. Boom. Oh, wow. She is leaping like crazy. There you go. So he did, and you better get used to it, because that is the fate that will await you for this entire game. And I can actually fly onto this. Oh, they dropped me out of the sky. Nice. Run for it! Ooh, there we go. Very beauteous indeed. Okay. He should have a pretty strong... I couldn't cancel that. That's interesting to know. There you go, Hedwin, though. No, it's bad. But he respawned immediately. No! Okay, they are passing over there. Destroyed you. Destroyed you as well. Damn. Nah, that's bad. Yeah, I really have to get used to the idea of using that properly. Nice. Uh, damn, I was about to jump through that. Nice. Ah. Nice. I just slammed into him. Maybe that's actually the play with him. Just... Oh, what was that spread fire? What was that spread fire? Nice. He gave his life for that one. Two, one. Nice. Hedwin, you're the boy. You're the man. And we might be able to make... Nah, I did not have the stamina for the jump there. And yeah, that's a point for them. That was a dowsing indeed. Dodge that. I got a hit in there. And... I didn't even want to do that there. Ah, I didn't want... To, I didn't want to throw that. Damn. Okay, they have a slight lead now. You shut your trap. 
Okay, good, 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 good. There we go. Plunge right in. Very nice headwind. The lifeblood of Islack. It flows within this lair, and beneath this world, his lifeblood, it shall engulf ye in such blackness and despair. So they have now bigger hours as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Why can't I do these things? Ah, that's bad. Indeed. Fire that off. Fire that off. Run to him. Nice, nice. Okay, good. Whew. No! He wasn't running. That's bad. That's very bad. So they did. Damn. Oh no, I pressed... Oh. Nice. Let's grab this. Make a run through it here. Oh no! I don't even know what happened there when I touched that. Nice. Just get there, thank you. We should be able to make this. We did it. Good boy, Rookie. You're the best boy. In this game, at least. No. No, no, no. That's good. Almost, but you know what they say about no cigars. No. There we go. Only five more points, though. No, 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 that's good, that's good. Damn. Don't give me that sass, man, don't give me that sass. Caught it. Caught it, got it. Damn. Make a run, make a run. I'm safe here. Nice, nah! These pools are some garbage. But the ball's all the way over there. Damn. I didn't even notice that I got it. Good. Go over here. Bad. Got it. Lost it. Damn. Oh, this is close. I don't want these guys to win here. I can't even fire through these piles. That was dangerously close indeed. Can I get this, please? Thank you. It's only you. And we made it. Done it is. Ooh, so we have. As he should. That was rough, man. See, those bog drillers, they are just a bunch of hissy talk. Literally, they are. Nice work, everyone. Never thought I'd have to stand against a bog dweller. You did fine, Edwin. Hurry, hurrah. Teaser praises everyone's courage against Mild and the Withdrawn. Oh, man. We have failed thee, and the deed shall be repaid in blood. As for ye, fools, ye shall be consumed. And everything around ye, from the soil to the stars, ye shall see. Whew. So it would seem. I think I'm beginning to understand something of all this, my friend. Okay, let's see what kind of upgrades we can give you. Headwind and his allies regenerate stamina twice as quickly as usually. That's actually quite potent. While bearing the orb, Headwind and his allies move with and pass the orb more quickly. Headwind and his allies may instantly return banished allies by moving to where they fell. Interesting, too. Hadron and his allies cause banished adversaries to remain banished for two seconds longer than usual. All pretty powerful, gotta say. He gains 50% more stamina, letting him jump and sprint more often. Also pretty powerful, gotta say. Power casting, Hadron's armor travels in a wider, longer line than usual. And his jumps into urban adversaries, he can banish them. That sounds cool. 
And what do we have here after? Hedward douses the adversary's pyre. His pyre recovers equal to up to 50% of the damage dealt. That's huge. That's actually very huge. But I think that having all of my guys have higher stamina recovery is pretty potent. Master General? Okay, I have to talk about that to him. And yeah, nobody else in here is learning a thing. Master General, Hedwin, I think you have something to tell me about now, don't you? Oh, we're doing the right position, Exiles. I wasn't able to read that in time, sadly. Having bested the withdrawn in a narrow victory, you and the others have some moments to recover from the ordeal and the relative safety of the Black Wagon. So, when can we get out of here? What, Green Taylor? Had enough of Mill's hospitality, hospitality for the time? Oh, Jody, yeah, thanks. I'm good. The reader and the stars will point the way, as ever. It's just, so far, we have kept on going north. If that's the case again this time... The Sea of Solus spreads north and west from here, for untold leaks. I could not tell you when the last a vessel dared to sail those waters. An impossible oceanic expanse pockmarked by crude little isles. Attempts to sail across the drowned sea do not usually turn out so well. Now doesn't that sound nice? Tizo asserts himself <laughs> during the conversation. What is the matter, little one? Hurrah room is trying to get you to come look at something outside of the wagon. Reader, please go see what he wants. Can do. Excuse myself to follow the imp into the dark of the night. You find Bay and the lone minstrel already gazing up at the stars. Can you not read the stars yourself then, Mr. Minstrel? I fear it is not simple as matters of can or cannot when it comes to me, Bay. We shall see what the reader has to say, for this is his charge. She is a young vagabond girl with an odd manner and an unshakable sense of curiosity. And here he is, in fact. Thank you for fetching him, Tizo. Screehar. Man, Tizo's happy face gives me life. He is so happy to have obliged the lone minstrel. Reader, it would seem the skies have cleared to some extent. Please look upon the stars and see where they compel us to go next. Let's look at the heavens. That's probably the star I have to check out. No, this one. Yomwir the Dusk Star. It is faint over the spring of the Yomwir. You are not permitted to conduct... Wait, wait, what? I am not permitted to conduct the next right there? What's that supposed to mean? I am not permitted, I am not permitted. What's that supposed? Oh, yeah, let's take this one then. The big one all the way up in here. The Azura Star burns bright over the ruins of a last frigate in the Sea of Solas. Aurus the Azura Star. That looks well. The rides beckon you still further north towards the middle of the Sea of Solas. That's not good indeed. You're joking, right, chum? Does the reader seem the joking type to you, Greentail? We do not argue with the stars. You talk how we can just go right, right out into the water. I put on my interruption, though perhaps we can. Say what now? My client, Sandalwood, he has a way of anticipating such eventualities. West of there lies a place called Big Bear Trudus. The proprietor of uh, is an old companion of his. She may be able to assist us. A small bog dweller outpost at the edge of the sea. All sorts of contraband used to come through here. Some of it fatal if touched or inhaled. Hadwin's smile returns. That sounds like our best shot right now. Let's pack it up and move as soon as possible. Okay, let's go back in here one more time. The minstrel wants something, and I also want to check out the crystal one more time. I've returned. And there's nothing in here. That's a shame. Yeah, looking forward to that blind girl. And the minstrel has something on his mind. Let's hear him out. 
Greetings. It is good that you are here, for there is something that I wish to tell you privately. Do you have a moment? I shall not keep you long, though I know your time is precious. That it is. Sure, let's hear it, man. You bid him to continue and make clear your interest in whatever he has to say. Very well, and thank you for your time. And I should further note, matters that pertain directly to the rights I must reveal to you alone, for thus I am obliged. In any case, when you confronted the withdrawn and which Utmield, you might recall she tended to invoke a certain name. Ilslach, the astral born, I hesitate to say it even now. She certainly didn't. She did not hesitate at all. You'll be forgiven you took the ravens of Utmilde for more mere nonsense. However, her words, as it turns out, wing with a certain truth. Before the union of the eight tribes, when first they found themselves here in the downside, this land was even less hospitable, if that can be believed. It was ruled over by the greater titans. The one called Islach was the eldest and most fearsome of the lot. Colossal monsters that once roamed the downside. The scribes together slew them one by one and through this forged their bonds. You know, this immediately reminds me of the Olympian gods and the titans in Hades. Or in Greek mythology in general. Just the same, the scribes managed to defeat it. They later used Islech's own height and ichor to bind the Book of Rites. You know what? Maybe there is actually some kind of supergiant games extended connected universe going on in here. I would actually think that would be kind of amazing. However, Islech did not truly die, for by some accounts it seems to be incapable of death. The creature is regenerating even now, though very, very slowly. Its vow is to devour this land and everything in it. Only then can it return onto whatever plane that banished it to ours. So in a way, it is an exile just like you. Isn't that... I mean... No, no matter how I think about it, it is worrisome. If ever should the creature be reborn, it shall be many ages hence. Thus, the ravings of Utmild are more or less inconsequential for the while. I can already see that coming back to bite me sooner than later. Yet the history of Eislach is inexorably linked to the rites and therefore must be known. I trust your research of the book shall lead you to discover more in time. I hope all of this is some reassurance, and now I leave it to your more immediate concerns. I shall go check to see how everyone is faring all this time. Here's out of the evening, bidding you a good rest for the evening. Alright guys, I think that's all for this episode. We had a very thrilling ride. The first one I ended up almost losing, and that one trial she was giving me, the Sandra girl. Considering new insults, isn't that great? Uh, yeah, but a lot of ha things happened in here. Most of them ended up going into our favor, and I'm looking forward to the next episode. I hope you do as well, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you back then. Until then, have the greatest of days.